let me just turn this around a little bit. I know in, in your role at eMetrotel, you guys may see a lot of different voice platforms, different organizations, different environments. You've been called to support many different brands and so on. And I know the eMetrotel platform is able of integrating with many platforms. Have you seen that as a heavy requirement, especially in, in, in this state of transformation? Oh, uh, absolutely. In this st state of transformation, uh, you know, with just the uncertainty of uh, budgets and everything within our customer base, uh, you know, uh, the focus that we have on uh, you know, evergreen migration, taking as much capability as or as much infrastructure as as is already deployed in the customer. Like, you know, if you're having a Nortel customer uh, uh, premise equipment or, or uh, you know, uh, Avaya, now Panasonic, uh, you know, if, if we can save our customers some uh, cost expenditures and yet at the same time introduce them to the full unified communication suite of, of messaging and uh, you know uh, and video conferencing and things like that uh, you know that's that's big on everybody's mind uh, you know how do we uh, get a state-of-the-art solution uh, you know, with without uh, uh, you know completely tearing out and replacing uh, you know either hardware or even in some cases it's just a matter of wiring, uh, uh, making sure that you can still use the the uh, you know digital connectivity as opposed to IP connectivity, and of course minimizing cost where possible. Yes. Yeah. I have another question. We've all seen. The, the difference with the increase in the need for collaboration and you know when we say collaboration we're talking about voice video and those things were around before but again based on your experience did you see I mean we've seen an increase locally did you see an increase in the importance of collaboration solutions and so on since the pandemic uh, absolutely, uh, you know, uh, the shift from, uh, you know, everybody being in the office uh, and, you know, the, the focus there was external communication uh, because you could just pop your head up or walk down the hallway and, and use, uh, you know, uh, uh, direct casual conversation to 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 understand what was going on from a networking you know I, either just from your role or even just from a networking within your organization um, the uh, the use of something like our infinity one uh, messaging capabilities for uh, quick uh, uh, feedback from you know not necessarily striking up a phone call not necessarily striking up video but uh you know uh asking quick questions that you <laughs> normally would do in the hallway uh you know uh, with infinity one you have that capability and you yet you also have the lunchroom capability because you could be uh, uh communicating in groups as well and uh, uh you know so it's it's not just one-to-one -one, it's it's group messaging as well that that was uh uh, a big draw, um, and and then the fact that we've uh, enabled that uh, through mobile solutions as well on iOS and Android means that uh, you know that communication can be wherever you are uh, uh, versus uh, you know needing to be sitting at your desk and communicating on a uh, on your laptop. So. Absolutely. So I mean, Brad, uh, we're really looking forward to having you as one of our feature speakers, as well as the Metrotel team and the Metrotel breakout session on June the 25th from 9 to 12 during our event, Infrastructure Solutions Enabling Transformation. I just want to say thank you on behalf of the Blue team, and we're really looking forward to this engagement, guys. And and, uh, yeah, I am as well. I'm very, uh, uh, very excited about uh, the event that you've uh, been pulling together.
All right, Brad. Thank you very much. And um, see you guys soon. Okay, Sheldon.